فيا سائلا عن منهج الحق يبتغي سلوك طريق القوم حقا ويسعد تأمل هداك الله ما قد نظمته تأمل من قد كان للحق يقصد الله سبحانه وتعالى he mentions in the Quran of a group of people okay this is what they said يقولون ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا والذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف الرحيم they make dua they say our lord forgive us and our brothers who preceded us in faith and put not in our hearts any resentment towards those who have faith our lord you are kind and merciful subhanallah so this is an indication that when a person he has iman he wants khair for his brother so if he can't get to his brother he lets his dua reach his brother he makes dua for his brother and he doesn't want resentment or things to get between him and his brother. You know, when you give advice to somebody, the person did not take your advice. People get angry. Oh, this guy is not taking my advice. He's jail. He's this, that. And, you know, they get rid of him. Maybe he won't listen today. Maybe he won't listen tomorrow. Maybe next week he won't listen. But one day he'll realize this person only wants khair for me. He's only been calling me to khair. Eventually, he'll come and he'll soften towards you and he'll start listening to you. Why? Because you made dua for this individual. You stuck with this individual, calling him to the khair. Wanting him, يعني, wanting khair for him. The Prophet ﷺ in, in, in Mecca, for 13 years, he was calling to the people. But the people were rejecting his message. Few people were accepting his message. They would curse him. They would make up lies about him. Some of them, يعني, they would try and harm him. All these things, the Prophet ﷺ never gave up on them. He still made dua for them. Prophet Nuh alayhi salam, he made dua calling towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his people for 950 years. He never gave up. For us believers, from our love and our unity, is to make dua and never give up on our Muslim brother. To keep calling him towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you give up on your brother, خلاص, and he, who's there to pick him up? Who's there to, to help him when he needs somebody? And he, subhanAllah, if the whole world abandons you, who do you have? Who are you going to look to? No one. But if he sees that one brother there for him, he will appreciate you. He'll make dua for you. You never know, Allah. You never know that one dua that he makes for you is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you Jannah. Because you brought him to khair. And the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, The one that يعني, directs somebody to khair, that teaches somebody khair, is as if he's also doing that khair. So you also get the edge of performing that khair just by telling him that khair. So there is... يعني, so much benefit in you not giving up on your brother, calling يعني, uh, to your brother in the way that is يعني, sincere, uh, in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with, and also never to give up on your brother. Many people, they see that this individual is, is involved in something that is evil, so I'm going to stay far away from him. Stay far away from his evilness, but don't stay far away from the brother, because the brother is still your brother in Islam. He needs your Dua, he needs your يعني, kind words, he needs your da'wah as well. So never give up on the individual, but stay away from his, uh, his evil ways.